Four Star, the better mix of music with Derek and the Dominoes and Layla, 1927. Don't forget me, Midnight Oil, the uh, Blue Sky Mining album with the Blue Sky. And Ridge going into the tackles. On it comes to Duffy, tries to get in behind the defence and does Barry Duffy sprints out at the open. He's got Collins beside him, but Collins can't leak up and coming in to put him over is Smith. The Waddles makes to put him down. At the dummy half, Haddock gives it to Duff and then to CB standing wide. All oh, fucked to the ground. Strong tackle, Neil Goodman. Grilke, well, that goes towards Duff. Duff pass to Collins. They're lined out to Blake. Steps in the middle, Laurie Blake. Looks like low dummies goes his own pass to Mickleborough. Crashing towards the line. The Waddles defence. Desperation, Duff just holds. Five tackle to Jones. Jones's pass on to Duff. Duff back towards Richter's in the middle of the forwards. They're looking for runners. Finds Blake. That's a lovely move. Blake sprinting on it. Tries to step uh, Smith. But put to the ground as Cherry comes from behind and right. He's launches back near the... Uh, the uh, bottom goal line. Danny Smith's pathway to Mark Packer. Hospital staff. Mark there at the dummy half. It goes on towards Waldron. Then a Beetson. Step one. Back on the inside goes Dennis Beetson. Opens them up. Beetson down the field. He's got no support. Steps away from Danny Smith. Now gets it to Waldron. Waldron chased by Goodman. The first try is Eric Waldron's 10 metres from the post. And City's pressure has been rewarded. Eric Waldron's over. The City's beside the post. Dennis Beetson takes the credit for it. It's City's four and Waddles nil. Dark pass, Mark Packer gets up to Blatt. On the blind side goes David Packer. Almost flips through, gives it to Big John McEwen, and the big fella's over. Didn't take off Waddles long to hit back when they got downfield. John McEwen off the inside of David Packer is over. Ten metres in from the touchline. The score at Bassett Park in the grand final. City six and Waddles four. To Newland, putting in a tremendously good performance. This time it comes towards Mark Packer. Oh, runs straight at the big fellow Michael Seavey, and Seavey picks him up and bowls him over. Running in the middle of the ruck because they always seem to be finding Laurie Blake there. It's the third runner, isn't he? Wilkie back on the inside to Madbrook with room to run. Madbrook almost through. Richter's grabbed him by the jersey. Still runs Gary Madbrook. Now gives it to Thrupp. Thrupp stepping back on the inside. Richter's gets a pass back to nobody. Madbrook will go back and fall out. The referee said the ball had rolled forward. Little bit Mickleborough at the dummy half. Gives it back to Collins. Collins decides to let feed Blake. Blake's got room to run. Gives it out to Duff. The Rudy left cutting for City. Gives it down to Richter's down the touch line. Back on the inside of Duff. This is great stuff. Laurie Blake away. Stevenson after him. Stevenson the grabs him. The ball goes loose. It's going to be picked up for Waddles by uh, Gary Ladbrook and play on. McEwen's pass to Rich. That's right. Be able to turn them round with their kicking. And it comes back to Collins. Collins dummies out wide there. Oh, gee, good pass. Graham Ricks is in the opening, racing downfield, chased by Ridge. Stevenson there to meet him, gets away from Stevenson. Looks for Jones backing up, and you can put down your glasses. Russell Jones, chased by Ladbrook. Good tackle, Ladbrook, but it's not good enough because Jones is able to score the try. What a great pass from Tony Collins to put Graham Richters into the opening. Cities are back at 10 4. Taken down, Cities gave away a golden opportunity for points there, I would have thought. A pass away from Grilke to Ridge. Ridge met by Blake. 15 metres, again turning around slightly. That goes to John McEwen. McEwen unloads to Laurie Blake. Blake stepping in the middle, but the Waddles cover was back there to grab Blake. John McEwen takes a tackle, and that'll be half time with the half time score favouring Cities 12 6. Well, this is our chicken that's fine for the I firmly believe the side that scores the first try might win the game or will win the game. I might be wrong in that one. But uh, there's the kickoff by uh, John McEwen. Down to Howard Lewis in his own in goal. He takes it and runs back towards his quarter. Waddles, of course, will be attempting to pin the uh, city's dummy half to Mickleborough. Mickleborough running straight to the tackle of Cherry. Cherry grabs him and puts him to the ground 10 metres from halfway in Waddles' territory. So Waddles a little bit hard done by there, I would have thought. As Jones has a slip away from the dummy half on the blind. Danny Smith grabs him, misses him, but coming from behind, Darren Thrupps flings him to the ground. Good run from uh, Ricky Jones. Played away to Waldron. There's a field goal chance on here. Would they kick a field goal at this stage? When it comes to Blake, he does try it. Looks pretty good to me, no mistake about it. So that's a seven-point cushion. Mainly breaking from the scrum. That goes to John McEwen having a run. Gives it to Ridge into the open. Ridge tries to loop Beats and gives it to Cherry. Cherry sprints downfield. Still going Peter Cherry. Looking around for support. The ball knocked down. It's going to be fallen on for one all for cities. On breaks and I think it might be with Thompson being on the field. There's Danny Smith crashing at the defence of City's in possession. 18 out from their own goal line. Waldron on the blind. Straight at Ladbrook. Almost through. Gives it towards Jones. Here it is. Ricky Jones chased by Ladbrook. Ladbrook from behind. Grabs him, maps him. Well, I thought Ricky Jones had more pace when he burst out in the open. Gets up to play it. 
Latest tied to Richter's, spreading for the dummy half. He deserves a try, Graham Richter's, he's got it. And Titties might be the ball game, the grand final for them. It's 17 to 6. Waddles, uh, who's that? That's David Packer. On the blind side goes Laurie Blake, stepping up the middle, taken down by McEwen, do they slip off him? Blake puts a chip on a chase side with Danny Smith, this could be another try, ball cutting loose, picked up the city by for Waddles by Lothian, and there's a penalty to Smith into the line. Baker takes him, but he stands and delivers to Cherry. Cherry spots the gap and sprints through it. Peter Cherry's got plenty of pace. Russell Jones and Ricky Jones, the wingers, grab him and pull him to the ground and give him one for his corner, two, three. Quick tap by John McEwen, gives it to Ridge. Ridge charging straight to the fence. Slips the pass to Thompson, backing up. Gives it to Lothian, and Lothian's running around to put it down under the post. That's Bell Waddle stuff. Is it too late? They're back in the ball game half at 19 points to 10. Darren had a cut from an offside place to grab him. The pass back, it's gone, been kicked through now on tackle number five, Warren Baker can field on his own court away, runs across the field straight at Mark Packer, oh, bumping stuff Packer hurt there we get up to play it, but only half it comes on to Collins, Collins dummies and goes his own, Tony Collins, can he split through, across the field he goes still going towards the corner, oh what a fine, fine, fine try by Tony Collins to seal the grand final in 1990 Tony Collins eluded the Waddles defence. The cities have played well, you can't take it away from them. Created heaps of opportunity, just like Laurie Blake is now. Away he goes, caught by Danny Smith as he put a chip and chain. The tackle on Seavey, he'll get up to play it. Away it goes, on towards Collins. Collins back on the inside to Blake. Blake splits through, good run from Laurie Blake. What did you say about the magic? There it is, but oh, good tackle again, Danny Smith. There's been nothing wrong with his Falling on the tackle that time by Waldron and Duff. Played away on a McEwen. McEwen's pass on the outside to Ridge. Ridge, or oh, good tackle, Michael Seavey. Gee, he had a big second half. Coming to his own in the second half. It was obvious the young fellas were going to have to do some work. There's the final hooter. Gary Ladbrook's got possession. Out wide to Brett Stevenson. Stevenson puts the chip and the chase on. Taking out the play after he kicked it. The full-time hooter is gone. It's all over. Cities of the Premiers in 1990. They've beaten Waddles 23-12. Andrew Smith, I'll leave you to sum up the 1990 grand final in the season. Thank you very much, Peter. Well, uh, somewhat of uh, an upset, I believe. Uh, Cities have certainly proved the critics wrong. Uh, probably myself included, who didn't believe that Cities could go the full distance. Eight Cities forward pack certainly did the job, and I think this is where they set up the win. I think Cities were prepared to do the tough stuff in the forward. Uh, I don't believe Waddles were prepared to do that. I think it may have been complacency, or it may have been uh, the fact that they were suddenly playing grand final football, and uh, they needed to do it more than what they had throughout the season. But uh, I think that's where Cities won. It was set up through the tough stuff in the forwards, and their backs certainly did the, the rest. My pick of the players, as I said before, was Tony Collins. For Waddles, I thought Danny Smith uh, played reason for Cities 12, and Waddles, uh, Cities 20 rather, Waddles 12. So Cities had three sides in the grand final today, and uh, came away with three premierships.